and sit down. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now, he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from Penumbra before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. Look at these four people. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2, learning from Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, and I thought because when the second week of the NFL season, the Cowboys get their first win, yes, go Cowboys, uh, I thought I'd do a little NFL stuff for you guys. Um, I will say, I did not expect them to win week one playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl champions. You know, when you play against the Super Bowl champions, that is a hard road to hoe. So I didn't think they would win. All honesty, it was tough in the house, though, because my daughter is a Tampa Bay fan. So I got to hear her uh, braggadocios uh, during that week one game. Yesterday's game was a bit of a nail biter. It came down to the last few seconds in a 50... 56-yard field goal attempt, I think it was. 56-yard field goal attempt. That had me a little nervous. Uh, but they did it. They won. It was a nail-biter. Yay. Uh, so go, boys. Let's say hi to everybody. Oh, look at that. Henry Chinoski is in the house. Hello. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, Woodson Dalton, who is 96. I don't even remember who I put up on that graphic, so uh, we'll learn together. Um Everybody relax. AJ's in the house. Hello, and thank you for sending me the scan of that uh, Rags Morales, Michael Bear page. That was beautiful. JP, good morning. Praetor, good morning to you. Uh, Ronald Shaw is in the house. Good morning. Um, let's, oh, pay, hello to you as well. I hold no stake in NFL. Panama's baseball country. I hear you. Uh, I've always been an NFL fan since I was a kid. Uh, growing up, I never got into baseball, never got into basketball, never got into hockey. Um, even though I will say my dad was a big hockey fan and I enjoy going to watch hockey games. I enjoy going to any sport. I enjoy going to live, especially female mud wrestling. Female mud wrestling is a great sport that does not get enough attention. So I love going to see all that stuff live. Uh, anyhow, what we're going to show today is, uh, the first work I did uh, for Athleta Comics, Athleta or Athleta Entertainment. Yeah. Anyhow, the company is owned by Israel Adonaje, who used to play for the Chicago Bears. Alpha Lobo, what is up? Sorry, any more of a fan of the Cowgirls? Oh, well, I mean, who isn't? I had that poster hanging up in my bedroom as a kid from the 70s. Um, anyhow, so Israel Donage, after he played for the Bears, started a company. He's a big comic book fan. And uh, because he played for the Bears, he had kind of an in. And he pitched them the idea of the Monsters of the Midway, which was the campaign in the 2018 football season where I drew a lot of Bears stuff and opponents. But I drew the Bears players more as superheroes and stuff you know, more exaggerated builds to their bodies and stuff. But before that, in 2017, 
for the NFL PA, NFL Players Association. Hold on, I got a question here. Wait, first, this lovely comment female mud wrestling, jello wrestling, oil wrestling. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Because I'm not showing that. Uh, wasn't Bart and Ron doing some sort of comment? Yes, they were. It was called The Protectors. I have the trade paperback. It's very cool. Um, I really wish they would reprint that and get it out more to everybody because that trade paperback is awesome. Um, maybe one day, if you guys want on one of the morning shows, I can show you guys the, uh, the some of the protectors work. I don't have it all scanned in, but I have a bunch of it, I believe, scanned in. So if you want to see some of the work Bart Sears and Mark Pennington did, because I have it as uh, black and white. I don't have it as color. I can show you that stuff. Uh, yes, all the Bears pro materials. Old Bears defense was nice. Uh, that was me. Yes, it was. Uh, shit, I'll have to check to see if they credit you properly. Oh, I don't get any actual credit in any of the stuff. I've had a few people say that live in the Chicago area when they saw the bear stuff that they were like, oh, that was you? Yes, it was. Uh, Monsters of the Midway, that was all me. But that's for another day. Today, we're gonna. I'm going to show... Uh, oh, Alpha Lobo says... My butts barely got past your boys. Yeah, it was a tight game. I was very proud of the boys uh, that night because I didn't expect them to win, but I didn't expect them to lose by three points. I thought they'd lose by more than that. Uh, they were pimping that stuff to C2E2 when I bought my Expo Exo page from Bart. Oh, you got to show me what Exo page you own. You got to send me it. I'm dying to see what piece of Exo art from Bart you own. Um, anyhow... So in 2017, the bear, the, not the bears, but the NFLPA, they they do a competition. Hyper Kaiju, welcome. Hello. Um, they do a competition, or not a competition, every week for the season in 2017, a different player got nominated for charity stuff they would do in their community. And then at the end of the season, uh, there was a vote. And out of all the 17 players, one of them got picked to win the Byron Wizard Award. Uh, Byron Wizard, I, I think Wizard was his nickname, was an old leatherhead football player. So that's the first thing they had me draw. That's right. Back, First Man 2 Learning Curve. You saw the trailer. Now go click on this link or the one in the description below and go back the book. I just finished a page yesterday of excuse me, of inks to it that I scanned in this morning and got uh, all prepped and stuff. And today I'll start penciling another page. So anyhow, back to this. So let me show you uh, the first piece I did, which was in black and white. And they wanted it in black and white because uh, the Leatherhead guys, you know, it was old timey. A lot of it, I guess, was black and white. Uh, haven't watched football since the whole anthem debacle. Used to love football. I never thought I'd stop watching to each his own. I hear you, Danky. Um, my daughter loves football. She's not into politics. She's 18 years old. I'm not even going to get into politics with her about it. She loves it. It's something I can share with her that we watch together because my wife's not a big football fan. So, uh, so this was the first one I did. Ooh, that got big. Uh, of Bri Byron. I keep saying Brian, but it's Byron. B-Y-R-O-N. Old leatherhead guy. They just wanted this done in black and white because, uh, you know, they just thought it would give a cool feel with him being in black and white because that's, uh, he played in that old school time. So it was fun drawing this old school uniform. You know, the old leatherhead days probably wouldn't be as many injuries today if they went back to this stuff because players would be like, oh, crap, I'm not as protected as much. I got to I got to play a little more cautiously so I don't crack my skull open. Uh, that's for damn sure. Um, so, yeah, so so this was fun drawing this old uniform. And like I said, they wanted me to exaggerate a little bit, make them a little more heroic. Uh, if you're watching football now, you'll see on Fox for the players, they have artwork that was done. Um, I can't remember the name of the company, but when I saw it last year, they debuted it last year. 
I was like, what the heck? Why wasn't I called to do this stuff? And it wasn't through Athleta, the company that I did the stuff for, for the Bears. It was through some other company out in LA. And I actually found out who they were and contacted them. And they were like, oh, that's where we got the idea from for doing this was from the bear stuff, but we didn't know who drew that stuff. So we just, uh, you know, we contacted other people and I know a few guys that are doing the artwork currently for Fox. Uh, that looks cool. Almost like an old time superhero. Yeah, man. Uh, so I know a couple of the artists drawing the stuff for Fox. Uh, I, you know, it would have been fun to be able to do it. I'm glad that I was an inspiration. You know, my artwork was an inspiration for the company to do that. You know, the one thing that is disappointing, though, it looks like they're just using traced off photos for the artwork, which, look, if the art director says this is the photo reference we want you to use and we want to look just like this, then, you know, you basically trace off a photo, add a few elements to it and call it a day. But when I did this stuff for the NFLPA, they said, no, no will suggest a pose. They would suggest a pose to me, but other than that, it was all on me and they wanted it kind of exaggerated. So let's go to the first one. Uh, these are not in order of weeks they were nominated. They're just in alphabetical order. So first up, Andy Dalton, Mr. Bengals player. Uh, you know, back then in 2017, he was playing for the Bengals. I can't remember what he got nominated for. They would actually tell me, you know, what, they did that got him nominated. Um, but I, I don't remember what they were nominated for each player. I do remember who won. Imagine wearing a leather helmet today. Exactly. But who knows? Maybe it would keep them safer because they wouldn't be plowing into each other so hardcore. You know what I mean? So uh, Andy Dalton was the first player I did. Uh, you know, quarterback. The big deal was I had to get the likeness right. Other than that, I could exaggerate proportion and stuff to really superhero them up as long as they had a, a certain type of physique. And, uh, you know, Andy Dalton was leaner and, and tall. So the red rifle, Andy Dalton. This pose shows weight and have a lot of presence. You lose this when you trace. It's true, you do. You know, I, I look at the drawings on Fox and like I said, if if... The art director said, here's the pose. And I said, great. And I drew it and I muscled him up some and made him more heroic looking. And the art director's like, what are you doing? Just trace it off, man. He needs to look just like the thing, proportion and everything, realistic. Then I'd be like, well, all right, whatever. But I was told to uh, make him heroic. So that's what I did. So there's Andy Dalton. And each week, these were shown on the NFL PA's website. So that was really cool. They were spotlighted on their website. And then at the Super Bowl in 2018, the winner was blown up really big and actually showed on screen and stuff. Uh, not on screen for the nation to see, but on screen, you know, at the Super Bowl itself. So that was pretty cool. Uh, next player up. Carlos Dunlap, number 96. That is who I believe uh, Henry called out. Carlos Dunlap. So there it is. You were you were close. You got the last name a little off, but you were close. So here's Carlos Dunlap running at you in all heroic pose. This was cool. Uh, what What team is this? Is this the Bengals as well? I think it is the Bengals too, just their uh, dark uniform. So Carlos Dunlap looking tough as hell. Uh, these kind of drawn proportions are shown on Fox. These kind of drawn proportions are shown on Fox. Oh, okay. I mean, to me, they just don't look as heroic, but that's cool. Oh, he's a Seahawk now. There you go. Um. So here he is running at us. Uh, once again, I wish I could remember what these players did that got them nominated, but, you know, uh, I don't remember. It was a while ago. Uh, when I did the stuff for the Bears, here's Carson Wentz. Uh, <clears throat> oh, there go half of my brains. The rest of this show won't be as entertaining because I just blew half my brains out of my nose. 
Um, Carson Wentz, I feel bad. He got hurt again yesterday. Uh, dude just can't catch a break. This is when he was an eagle, though. Um, oh, this was a fun one as well. Most of these were so much fun to draw. I haven't looked at these in years. That's what I was going to say. So when I did the Monsters of the Midway, besides drawing the Bears, I had to draw an opponent, their opponent for the season as well. But because the agreement was with the Bears and not the opponent, there wasn't a specific player I drew for the opponent. So let's say they were going up against the Detroit Lions. Uh, I drew, you know, the, the art director would send me a creative brief of a description of what they imagined the opponent would look like. So for the Detroit Lions, it was a Mad Max type thing with this guy driving in a, a Mad Max looking type Mustang. And he had a, a lion helmet on. So when I show the opponents in the next day or two, uh, I think you'll really like them because they look like uh, villains for, you know, comic books because they aren't actual players. So here we got uh, Carson Wentz. Yes, he is uh, Mr. Glass. Sam Bradford, though, got to admit, down here in Carolina playing for the Panthers 2-0. and Uh, Matt Barr, the artist for Rock and Rock Ninja, did work for the NFL. Well, the thing is, when you do work that's considered like advertising type stuff, they take your they they do take your name off. I mean, you know, going into it, I've done other advertising work as well. I got the Rams game promo stuff from that that game. The Rams game promo stuff. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Cool. Oh, Rock and Roll Ninja. That makes sense. Um, when you do advertising work, you generally don't get credit, which, you know, honestly, this is a business. And as long as I get paid, that's what matters. Now, I know, you know, if somebody asked, for instance, Israel Donage or Athleta, who did the work, they would say, oh, it's artist Andy Smith. Um, I can't remember from the NFL PA stuff. I almost want to say that they left my signature on for this stuff. But I've done advertising stuff for other companies and my name has been taken off, you know, maybe one stream. Uh, I did this stuff for this advertising agency out in California. Uh, Pedro says, no credit in advertising, be, being doing it for 20 years, you become a useful nobody. Yeah. I mean, nobody know, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, you wouldn't really know who did the illustrations in magazines. Maybe he wasn't expecting it or just wasn't happy with the setup. Oh. So I did work for an ad agency in California and their, one of their clients was the uh, Idaho Potato Commission. Yes, the Idaho Potato Commission, who, if you, depending on where you live, and I see them here, one brand of potatoes in the supermarket is Idaho Potatoes. And for about eight or nine years, every year it was a reoccurring uh, job I did for them where I would draw... Uh, comic book art for B2B advertising and B2B advertising is business to business advertising. So the only people that would see it were people in the business. It wasn't used in magazines and print and stuff like that. So for a while I did advertising uh, art for the Idaho, Idaho potatoes through this ad company. So one day uh, on my stream, I'll show you some of the art I did for them. It was fun. It was taking their four top salesmen. I think they were the four salesmen that divided up the country into quarters and drawing their likenesses on superhero bodies and stuff. It was really fun. Uh, good morning. Hello. Uh, did you draw Cam Newton like he was attending the Hellfire Gala? I did not, but I did do a drawing of Cam Newton the year they went to the Super Bowl. He was doing advertising for yogurt. And in one of the commercials, he was dressed up as a superhero. So I took a still shot of that and drew him in that superhero costume uh, the year they went to the Super Bowl. And my local, uh, one of the local stations here in town, the CW, actually showed my art. So that was pretty cool. 
I mean, I could see myself being a little upset about not getting credit, but I guess that's why they pay you. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Idaho potatoes, when you see what I did, they would kick the crap out of the California raisins. Uh, I did draw Vaughn Miller this year, but not getting sacked. So let's move on. That's Carson Wentz. Here is Chris Long. Uh, Chris Long. Uh showing his power and stuff. Now I did not do the colors on this stuff. Uh, a buddy of mine did the colors. His name is, uh, oh man, I'm going to screw it up. Niraj Minion, Manion, Manon, Niraj Manon did the colors. Uh, if I remember correctly, now I got to see, cause I, I hate screwing up people's names. Let me just check. Oh, Niraj Manan. Man, I really screwed that name up. Boy, I feel bad for that. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the colorist on this stuff was a, a guy named Niraj Manan. Manan. Oh, M E N O N. And first name, N E E R A J. Niraj. Last name, Manan. M E N O N. Ugh. He colored this stuff, did a fantastic job coloring it, if I do say so myself. Hey, don't bust my chops. He he's a he's a work buddy, as in he he lives in India. We've never actually met, but he's colored stuff for me. So uh, I did a couple of animated videos for Big Pharma loaded with patented secrets. I can't show them to anyone. Oh, that's too bad. I did some banners for a medical device company that they put up at a trade show. Uh, let's see. Oh, that looked like me this morning. Oh, gross. Justin Ward, good morning to you. Howie Long's boy, exactly. This, by the way, since it's not in order, I won't keep everybody in suspense. He won uh, the award that year. So this art was on a, a friend of mine or somebody that was at the Super Bowl sent me a picture of the TV screen and uh, this big TV screen at the Super Bowl, and they sent me a picture of it, and he was on it. It was so cool, and it said, you know, NFL PA 2017, you know, Byron Wizard Award winner, you know, whatever. Uh, so that was cool. Yeah, man, this is Howie's kid. He's retired now. So that was cool, being able to see this uh, big like that. So uh, that was, I love this effect here that uh niraj did this effect is just great i don't know how much bigger this will get uh, not too much but let me blow it up a little bit i mean that effect right here is just awesome that he did this is stuff in coloring i don't know how to do like special effect stuff like that all right let's move on next I thought his other son was retired. I thought they were both retired. He still plays. Howie Long's a jerk. Why is that? I thought, I think Howie's pretty cool, but I just see him on TV. I don't know much more about him. Uh, David Johnson here. Uh, this was a fun one to do too. Hitting his pose. Striking a pose. So this was cool. Uh, let's see. Walter Payton, Man of the Year Award. No, this was Byron Wizard. Eric of Dakla, thank you for joining. He unretired? Did he really? Man, I did not know that. Wow. Uh, Justin says it's an easy Photoshop brush. Heisman pose. Well, this is one of the things. When I do these, they suggest the pose they want. And I do a rough sketch showing the pose. And uh, they'll either say, you know, bring his leg up, put his leg back, you know, stuff like that. But this is the pose they wanted. Uh, I showed up late. Have you done an Aaron Rodgers by chance? Uh, have I done an Aaron Rodgers? I don't think I have. Not this. He wasn't nominated this year. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Like and subscribe, everybody, if you're new. Uh, but you have not missed it. I don't think I've done Aaron Rodgers. Moving on to uh, Doug Middleton. 
Uh, Doug Middleton, some of these players have certain poses that they would strike. This is one Doug would strike. I guess he would do the old double bicep, double gun pose. So uh, this is a, this is a pose he, he would uh, strike. So that's cool. Pretty neat looking. Jets looking tough. He's like, look at me. I'm a bad butt. Oh, Prater's got to go. All right, dude, have a good day. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, hitting a double bicep. That's Doug Middleton. Uh, here we go, Emmanuel Sanders. Catching a ball here. Uh, is this uh, Broncos, I think? I think this is a Broncos uniform. I'm not sure. Just goes to show you once again how bad my uh, memory is for stuff. I think this is a Broncos uniform. This was a fun pose, catching a ball, nice little twist to the figure and stuff. It is Broncos. You guys are going, I thought you said you were a football fan, Smith. You don't seem like much of a football fan if you can't remember uniforms. Well, excuse me. Uh, dude, that one is great there. The twist and torso is so dope and such a hard draw. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, he played for the Steelers? You know, if they're not Cowboys, I don't really pay much attention. Ha ha, Clinton Dix, who went from the Packers to the Bears. Uh, my boy Dennis as you know from the DNA show, is a big uh, Packers fan. So he owns the original art to this. I gave him the original art because he's such a Packers fan. I figure, you know what? Here you go, buddy. You can own the original art to Ha Ha Clinton Dix. So he was, uh, he, he enjoyed that, that I gave this to him. So. You know, the nice things that I do. Trader, go pack. I mean, is it up to him or was it the team going, you're out of here? You know, I mean, if, if uh, you're playing for a team and the team's like, you're out of here, not much you can do. Got a kicker, Johnny Hecker, kicker for the Rams. I mean, I don't know if he's a kicker anymore, but hey, at least the kicker got some play. That's pretty cool. Coming in, ready to kick the ball. Like, I'm going to kick this ball straight through. Uh, I wonder why HaHa ha didn't play last season. I have no idea. Is he playing this season? Did they keep your signature on the final product? I mean, these were put up at the NFLPA's website. I want to say every week I would see it. He's a punter. Oh, okay. Punting the ball. Oh, that makes sense because he obviously just dropped it and he's going to punt it. So there you go. Oh, one of the best. Nice. Um, I want to say on the NFLPA website, they did keep my signature, but don't quote me on that. I don't remember for sure, but I think they did. Uh, Josh Norman, who, uh, does not play for the Redskins anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. The Washington football team. Oh, ha ha. It's playing for the Niners. There you go. Uh, so got to draw Josh Norman. He'd come out and do the old bow and arrow thing, I guess. So that's cool. So I got to draw him when he was playing for 2017, the Redskins. Sorry, he wasn't a not, he, he was, they weren't, blah, blah, blah. Hey, ho. they were not the Washington football team yet. They were still the Redskins when he played for him. So that was fun. It's good old Josh Norman here. Yeah, Josh is a niner. Uh, then we got Kenya Drake. Kenyon Drake, sorry. Kenyon Drake. Uh, the name's up here kind of small for me to read, so said it wrong. But Kenyon Drake here uh, playing for the Dolphins. Uh, so dolphined up in total orange for this uniform they wanted. So they would obviously tell me the specific uniform they wanted me to draw these guys in. 
so yeah, so here we got this dude. Man, I have not looked at these in years. Uh, this dude's a raider now. Is that what you're saying? He's a raider now. Look at you guys on the ball with the football. On the ball with the football. See what I did there? A little wordplay. He's taking it, taking it to the hole, running through. Man, this was fun stuff. Just re-looking at this stuff again. I got I got good at drawing cleats. Uh, let's say that. I got I definitely got good at drawing cleats and uh, drawing football uniforms here is uh, for sure. Here we've got Max Garcia, Broncos. Uh, this guy's a, this is a big dude, you would say. Big dude here. This was a fun pose, really getting the camera on the perspective with the hand in the foreground. It was fun drawing gloves and stuff. And like I said, drawing cleats. And whatnot, having some fun with uh, some of the lighting here as well. This is a big dude, so he wasn't super cut. Just, uh, just, oh man, I got the hiccups now. Good Lord. First I'm sneezing, now I got hiccups. What is going on? It is a Monday for sure. We are, uh. We are pet sitting for Bud Root. Bud and his wife went down to Daytona for a show over the weekend and dropped off their year old beagle. So they're driving back now and we are pet sitting. This dude, this is a big dude here. Look at that gut he's got. Once these guys retire, they're like, it's time for some massive weight loss. A lot of these guys retire and next thing you know, a year later, they drop like 100 pounds. You don't even recognize them anymore. Do, 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 do. I got the Terminator. Oh, yeah. I got to draw a cowboy. Travis Frederick, who has since retired. But at least I got to draw a cowboy. This dude was really fun to do. Big beard. Just another big bruiser of a guy. Taped up fingers. Um, This dude's not sporting a six pack at all. He's just a big bruiser of a guy. How big does this get when I do that? Oh, not much bigger. Let me zoom in here. I remember having fun drawing this dude's face. Uh, Danky says, pet sitting for a variant cover. We'll see. I actually talked to him yesterday to see how the trip is. And uh, I said, everybody wants me to uh, get you to do a variant cover. And he's like, dude, I do a penumbra drawing for you. So uh, could be happening. Big bearded bruiser. Dude, it's Grizzly Adams for sure. It was a super surprise retirement, but I think it was for uh, health reasons. Neon Todd Studio. Hello. I hope you have subscribed. Everyone, if you're new to the show, please subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions matter. Of course, likes do too. So hit the like button. Uh, but this was a fun one to do. I love doing all these just for drawing the different faces and stuff, you know, different character and stuff for these guys. And I really just had fun, you know, cutting down different lighting and stuff for these dudes. Um, this was really fun. But yeah, it was definitely a sur surprise retirement. Those hands are drawn perfect. Oh, thank you so much. I struggle with hands. And that's right. Be sure to back first man. Uh, looks like that Joe Avon. That's a big, giant, hairy dude. I don't know who you're talking about. Hey, but don't forget to send me a scan of that EXO page that you bought of Bart's. I'm dying to see it. Here we go. Vic Beasley of the Arizona, Arizona, blah, 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 tongue twister. Vic Beasley of the Atlanta Falcons is what I meant. That's right. SCM Subscri subscription counts matter. Uh, I should get that on my shirt. Uh, SCM subscription counts do matter and uh, backing first man matters as well. So please guys remember to, uh, to back first man as well. If you haven't yet, 
We are climbing up to 35K. So let's back it. This was cool too, because I got to do a little NFL symbol as well where they showed up on their uh, uniforms. For some reason, he had it here on his hip, too. This is a nice hero pose, nice superhero S-type pose that was fun to draw. So that was fun. Get higher and higher, straight up the climb. He had one good year and then disappeared. Yeah, I don't even know if he's playing anymore. Was this for the NFL or different? This was for the NFL PA, the NFL Players Association. Uh, they showed up every week on their website. Um, this was a hectic year because I would get the player on a Tuesday. I'd have to submit a sketch on a Wednesday, pencils on Thursday, inks on Friday, finish colors on a Monday. So they could get them up on the website that Wednesday, and then it would start all over again. So uh, for 17 weeks, it was uh, pretty hectic doing one of these drawings weekly like that for the 17 weeks. Uh, who's this here? Vinny Curry for the Philadelphia Eagles. They wanted him in the uh, in the Eagles black, back in black. Uh, Uniform, I almost said costume. That's how much I'm used to drawing superhero stuff. I almost said they wanted him in the all black costume, but they wanted him in the Eagles black uh, uniform, raging. Uh, Vinnie Curry, this dude's Jack, got the tattoos going on. Dude's just built. Uh, and I still have all the original art to this stuff. I was kind of hoping some of the players would see this stuff and be like, dude, I want to buy that original art. He had a bad injury this year. You're talking about Vinnie Curry or the player I just showed before this who had a bad injury. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping that the players would see this art and then be like, dude, who did these drawings? I'm a big comic book fan. I know some of the players are comic book fans. And uh, I was hoping the players would see this stuff and be like, oh, my God, I want that original art hanging up in my house. I need to get in contact with the artist so I can get that piece hanging up in my house. Oh, no. See, uh, Let's see. A sketch card for all 53 players per team. Yeah. No, I sell this stuff. So here's the thing, AJ. Here's here's the weird thing. Oh, Bell's man. Beautiful work. Or Bees man. Sorry about that. It looks small. I didn't see it was an eye. Bees man, beautiful work. Thank you so much. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. Um, so here's the thing. I don't sell interior pages of uh, comic book art. Um, I sell this stuff. I sell commissions, obviously. Sketch covers I sell. You know, for instance, this bad boy right here. Is, is for sale, the old Green Lantern cover I finished right here. Look at that. Oh, you got the Guardian back there. I did star effects and the shadows of the Guardian. So this bad boy is for sale. So uh, if anybody wants to buy a Green Lantern cover, let me know. It's for sale. Uh, sketch cover. But yeah, I sell this stuff. So all this. I've sold some of the Bears originals to uh, Chicago Bears fans, but none of the players. Like I said, I thought the players might want him, but none of the players. Oh, my God. That is horrible. Rare blood. Dis Ugh. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I sell this stuff. You know, this is different. I, I just like my comic book pages for some reason. I like holding on to that stuff. But this stuff, out of here. Like all the Idaho Potato Commission stuff I've done, I've got a lot of originals. But for the past few years, I've been doing all that stuff uh, digitally because what do I need the original art for? Nobody's uh, nobody's buying any uh, Idaho Potato Commission artwork. So uh, I've got no problem selling that stuff, you know. So uh, there you uh, there you have it. So if anybody wants to buy this stuff, they're more than welcome to. Uh, all right, let's move on. We're almost done. End of the alphabet coming up. Here's Vaughn Miller. 
Broncos, Von Miller. Uh, I don't think he had a great game yesterday. Uh, but did the Broncos win? I can't remember. Who'd the Broncos play? I even remember watching some of that game. Man, I can't remember if the Broncos won yesterday or not. But yeah, this was a fun one to draw. Big Vaughn, they wanted him thick. I guess Vaughn is a, a, a thick kind of dude. So they said, make him thick. Make him a beast. So I said, oh, I can make him a beast. So that's what I did. Uh. Oh, they did win. Broncos won. Yeah. Uh, Jaguars, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, my daughter likes the Jaguars because uh, Trevor Lawrence, quarterback. I hope he. I hope they start, you know, turning around and he does well. Uh, we loved watching Trevor play for Clemson. My daughter's a big Clemson fan, so we loved watching him play for Clemson. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I hope the I hope uh, the Jaguars turn it around. Need a calf ratio is crazy, you know it. Dude is buff. This is what I'm talking about. The stuff for the fox, the stuff that the artwork they're showing on the fox is nowhere near as uh, quote unquote exaggerated as like what I'm doing. Uh, does he, she like Deshaun Watson? Not really. Not really. She re she got into Clemson after he left. So she's all about the uh, Trevor Lawrence. Um, I'm telling you, if you look at the artwork that, uh, yeah, I agree. I think he definitely needs a better O-line and it totally sucks that uh, Travis Etienne got hurt and is out for the year from a preseason injury. I think if Travis was in the game, He'd be doing better, and I think if they had a better O-line. But Jaguars is a rebuilding team. That's what happens when you're the number one pick. You go to the worst team, and uh, the team hopefully rebuilds. So uh, he's just got to adjust the NFL. He had a whole team behind him at Clemson. It's true. NFL's faster as well. But, dude, if, so guys, if you look at what's being done for Fox, and like I said, I think the artwork looks nice, but they're not as detailed. It's almost like animation where the, the artwork done that Fox is showing of the players is almost, if you if you can envision it in black and white, like I can see, I can see color stuff easily in black and white. And if you can envision that stuff done for Fox in black and white, it's really just an outline with very little inside ink lines. And then 90% of it's done in color. Whereas this stuff I tried to do so it would hold up in black and white as well. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys some of the black and white art as well to it so you can see. And nothing against this stuff. The stuff seems looks cool, but, you know, uh, you can definitely tell that they didn't want them to be over-exaggerated, uh, heroic looking with the anatomy and stuff. Trevor Lawrence seems like a nice guy. The press tried to get him. To diss Trump because the Clemson team was fed fast food. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was actually kind of cool. I got to be honest. A bunch of football players going to the White House, and Trump is like, these dudes are in college. Get them some, you know, Burger King, whatever it was. I can't remember what he had brought in. And here we go, back to the beginning. Brian Wizard, or Byron Wizard, who the award was named after. Uh, but I'll show you some, I'll show you guys some of the black and white stuff here. Hold on as I uh, pull it up. Let me dump out of this screen, get into another one here. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me show that Cam Newton drawing I did that I was telling you guys about that was shown on the old uh, local, local TV station here in town. A local TV station here in town showed it. Uh, let's see, Cam Newton. Here we go. Let's 
Fox stuff, all right, but it's like they said, we want someone to do kind of comic booky than hire a non comic book artist. Fox stuff, all right, but it's like they said, we want someone to do it kind of com. No, they did hire comic book guys. I know a couple of the guys that draw the stuff for Fox, and they're the couple guys I know that draw the stuff for Fox are comic book guys. Uh, back when a leather helmet and tape were your best protection, that's what she said. So, this was the Cam Newton piece I did. Uh, like I said, if you saw the yogurt commercial he was in, he in the in the specific yogurt commercial, he wore some football stuff. I think he wore like a suit and then he wore this superhero costume. And I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. I've got to draw this. Uh so I drew it, and this is this was done in 16. So the year they went to the Super Bowl, the 2015 season, Super Bowl in 2016. And this was shown on the uh, local CW network that uh, is in town. They spotlighted it, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. Let me blow this up just a wee bit. There we go. So I thought that was pretty cool of them to do. Spotlight local artist Andy Smith showing his support. Uh, you know, and I did color this. So see, guys. I can computer color. Uh, God knows I hated Cam as a Bucks fan, of course. And now Cam's not playing because he doesn't want to be a backup. He wants to be a starter. So it's like, well, no team needs a starter right now. So unless uh, there's a major injury to a starter, uh, it looks like you're sitting out this season. But this was fun to do. I got to say, this was uh, real fun to draw. Uh, I also did a commission of Devin Hester. Uh, this was a, a, a private commission I did of Devin Hester as well. Let me show you guys that. Let's see where that's at. Do, 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 do. do we have any Booster Gold fans in the house? Does anybody like Booster Gold? Let me know if we have any Booster Gold fans in the house. And you're going, why? Just tell me. Well, I'll tell you in a second. I want to show you something else first. Uh, Texans, maybe, maybe uh, he should have played more like a starter than instead of playing dress up for the cameras. Man, the, the, the clothing choice that uh, Cam makes. It's like, dude, get recognition for how well you play, not what you wear. Uh, he's at home washing his tights. He could be greatest punt returner. Oh, pre-Tom King, maybe. All right, now I'm lost. I like him better than elongated man, but that ain't saying much. Well, there, I'll show you in a second. So real quick, here's Devin Hester. I was commissioned by a fan to do a drawing of Devin Hester as a superhero bear. So, uh, I drew him as a superhero. This I colored as well. So see guys, I do color stuff. Um, so this I colored as well. Like I said, the guy that paid me to do this wanted Devin Hester drawn as a superhero. So not in a football uniform. So really hitting it tight, you know, skin tight uniform here. The bear symbol is number just coming at us. I think I got the black and white. There's the black and white to it. So you guys can see what I did in black and white as well. I think this is pretty big. Yeah, that's well, yeah, pretty big. Uh, so this is fun. Fun to do. Did some pretty cool lighting on him, I thought. As I look at, look at that big hand in your face. Push that perspective. Oh, yeah. So this, this was fun to do for the kid. Uh, even a football. Got some nice lighting on that football. So commissions like this, you know, the person gets the black and white original art. And then they get, uh, if they had me color it, since I color digitally, they get a nice high res uh, printout, 11 by 17 of the colored art. So they can uh, 
kind of frame them together. Uh, full color one more time. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, I don't like the bears, but that costume design is dope. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the full color again. Man, I just like the lighting I did on that football as well and the fingers and stuff. Uh, full color. There you go. JP, full color. So yeah, so basically I would send the person the black and white original artwork and then packaged inside of it as well because I have a full size, I have a printer that can print like 12 by 19. So I would print on heavy stock paper, a nice full color uh, print, the same size as the black and white art, which was 11 by 17. And then they can frame them next to each other. So, but this is why I asked if you like booster. So this was a pitch that I did back in two, 2015 with Keith Champagne. We pitched a, a booster gold mini series, the DC where he would be doing a reality show and he had a sidekick that was a chick, a teenage booster had like a teenage sidekick that was a girl. And, uh, he had a, a, a smoking hot press agent back here. And then of course the director of the show was this, uh, was this artsy looking dude. So this we submitted to, uh, whoops, too big. This we submitted to DC, but yeah, they passed on it. Their loss. What are you going to do? Uh, I totally enjoyed drawing booster. Uh, I love this outfit that he wore, this costume, this uh, new costume. I'm a huge Booster Gold fan. So as much as I would like to have drawn the original costume, this costume was fun to draw. You know, I tried to make him leaner because Booster Gold isn't supposed to be super buff. So I drew him a little bit leaner here, which was fun. I like playing with body types. So the director guy back here. It was fun to draw this uh, this director guy. So this was a pitch by Keith Champagne and myself. And Andrew Dollhouse did the coloring on this piece. Really great job on the coloring. Uh, I love the, uh, the host. I think this was actually the host of the reality show. This woman back here looking fine. She's looking fine. And then, of course... His uh, teenage sidekick, I can't remember what her name was, but, you know, nice uh, redhead teenage sidekick here. That was fun to do. I still have this original piece of art. Little, I love little details. A little slate right here. The clackers and action clack. Uh, sitting in the director's chair because he's booster. And then, of course, the lights and stuff coming in. So this was a fun piece to do that I thought I'd share with you guys as well. So uh, there you have it, guys. How cool is that stuff? Uh, do you guys want to see more football stuff? Because I can do more uh, more football stuff tomorrow. If you guys want to see some more football stuff, uh, let me know. And I can definitely show you guys some more football stuff tomorrow. We could do the Bears or I could do their opponents. Um. You know, 2018, like I said, was big for the Bears. Uh, I feel like Booster Gold should be a top-selling character. He's such a, but I guess he ain't Batman. I think he could be a top-selling character. They just need to do him right. Yeah, I know there's a new series out by Ryan Sook and Dan Jurgens. Um, I haven't read it. Uh, I should because I like Ryan Sook's art. Um. So yeah, if you guys want to see some more football stuff, I can show you the 2018 stuff tomorrow. And then I did some more players in 20, 2018 was the big year. Monsters of the Midway. I did like 26, 27 of the Bears players. I did three poses for each player. I did a hero pose, an action pose coming at you, and then an attack pose where they were like a three-quarter view attacking. And then for the for their opponents, I did... Uh, an action pose and an attack pose. And they, they were all drawn separately, but they would put them together in different pieces of art. So more bear stuff. Okay, so tomorrow we'll do some more bear stuff. No problem. Uh, nowadays at DC, you're either Batman or you're about to become gay. Yeah, well, you know. Um, but guys, let's not forget about uh, 
Alpha Lobo, thank you. Good stuff when I'm involved. Thank you. Uh, personally, would dig seeing some football, more football stuff. I'll do it. Uh, whoops. Uh, like I said, I got Cohen stuff. They paired with the Ram stuff. I got the Cohen stuff. They paired with the Ram stuff. So you're talking about the artwork I did because in 2018, every program, when you went to a, a home bears game, cause I've got a couple of the programs had art by me. My art was everywhere. It was on cups. They did souvenir cups at the bears games. Um, uh, Andy, have you ever done art for a record album? I did one piece of, okay. The last thing I'll show you guys before I go, I did a piece of art for somebody that was going to use it on a CD or something. Oh yeah. Cool. You have that poster. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so the year of 20, the 2018 year, they actually flew me. And, uh, there's another friend of mine that did some storyboards for animatics. So they flew the storyboard artist up and they flew in the animatic team from LA, these two guys. And we went to a bears game on a Sunday night football. We sat in the box. So we had box seats with Israel Donage and some of his family. Uh, Israel and I signed before the game started downstairs in the stadium, right outside the pro shop. I bought a couple t-shirts of mine that had the bear, because I drew a bear, an actual bear as well. And they were selling the shirts in a pro shop. So I bought a couple shirts. I got a couple other bear shirts that had some players on them as well. Uh, I've got uh, three or four of the collector cups that they did. Uh, I've got a couple posters they did that year. So uh, I've got a bunch of bear stuff from that year. Uh, it was not the Rams game I went to. I can't remember who they played on that Sunday night game, to be honest with you. But guys, real quick, first man two learning curve. We're climbing. We're climbing. I'm going. Let's get to thirty five hundred or thirty five hundred. Let's get to uh, thirty five thousand. That's what we're going for. Uh, let's get to thirty five thousand and then forty thousand. Unlock another stretch goal because that's what we're all about. Let's get the stretch goals as I work on the campaign. It's in demand. Caring is sharing. Uh, I'm going to be throwing up another uh, tier come later today. I'm going to try and put a tier up, a new one for you guys that uh, back it. That's right. Oh, you were at the show, that one club. Oh, cool. No, I don't think it was the Rams. I don't know. I can't remember what game it was. You doing Kings tonight? Of course I am. So I'm going to be throwing up. Uh, so real quick, here we go. First man two learning curve. Back it now. Be proud. Uh, like I said, I've added a T-shirt so you can get yourself a sweet T-shirt now. If you've already ordered, that's fine. The t-shirt has to be shipped separately anyhow. So there's no reason to go, darn, I want to add it on to save on shipping. So there's a sweet double-sided t-shirt, first man in full color. When you're walking towards people, they can be like, dude, that guy's a first maniac. And then they'll turn and look at you as you walk away and be like, oh, a penumbra. It says penumbra, but they'll realize you like the vivacious penumbra because she graces the beautiful back of the shirt. So get that bad boy as well. Uh, if you like the sketch covers I do, you can get yourself. Well, I've added the original art real quick. So I, I did put up the first man art for uh, the parody ad, which is 14 by 21 in size. Oh, pop. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. It's the same company that does Ethan shirts and Graham Nolan shirts. So, you know, the quality is good. So you can get the Superman, Christopher Reeve, uh, fighting Lou Frigno Hulk sketch cover. You can get the beautiful white queen sketch cover. And of course, a 14 inches across by 21 inches high original art to the parody ad you can also get as well. So you can actually own a piece of my interior art. Uh, real quick, 
I'm going to be adding a tier to the campaign today where you can get this beautiful eight and a half by 11 hardcover black book, The Art of Andy Smith. It's a hundred and twelve pages, hundred and twelve pages of my art. Uh, there's the table of contents. It's got some first man art, comic book art, commercial art, children book art, commissions, personal art, sketch covers, character design. 112 pages and the book. I'm adding this tier later. Uh, I've got. I looked in my closet. I've got a bunch of these. It's going to be limited because I don't have unlimited copies of these. It's going to be limited to 40. So uh, this will be 50 bucks total. First man learning curve number two and the black book, Art of Andy Smith. Uh, I'll be limiting this to uh, 40 copies uh, and it's 50 bucks for both. So you'll be able to get that hardcover book coming at you as well. Uh, I came out of the closet with that stuff. Yes, I had to get that stuff. Um, let me show you. Somebody brought up record album. Let me see if I can find this. Ooh, this is going to be tough. I don't think it's in this uh, folder. Uh, it is not. I can show you this, though, while I'm looking for it, because I do know where it is. Uh, Bear with me as I'm looking. Oh, I thought it was, huh? Oh, here it is. I th oh yeah, here we go. So this was some, uh, let's see. The Next Professionals, whose channel? The Next Professionals is this week. I believe it is on Art to Bear's channel. Uh, this was done for Real Song Records. Uh, this was a logo that I was paid to do for a thing called Real Song Records. This was colored, I believe, by Mike Atia. Michael Atia, I did this back in 2004. Um, this is what they wanted. They wanted a nice looking woman holding a harp. So zoom in a little bit for you. So they wanted a pretty, pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, the type I'd like to meet. Pretty woman. <laughs> Let's see. Alexa, play pretty woman. Here's O, pretty woman. By Roy Orbison on Amazon Music. Woman walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind I'd like to meet, pretty woman. It must be true. As good as you. That's why I'm singing over it so they don't. Getting down the street, pretty woman. Alexa, cancel. And I canceled it. See, so hopefully, hopefully not. But there you go. So this was fun to do. A pretty woman. No, I wanted that one. I didn't want the Van Halen one. So there she is, a pretty woman for you that I did. Uh, let's see. I think I got the pencils in here. Oh, that's something else. There's the inks. Here's the raw inks. Raw. Look at this whiteout that I did. I think I might have had hair here or something. I don't know what the whiteout was for. Honestly, I can't remember. Uh, what do we got here? This is really small. I think this is just a JPEG. Yeah, it is. Oh, here we go. Here's the cleaned up inks to it. 
you can see the black and white art nice and clean. And then I think, uh, oh, there's a JPEG of the colors. That's probably as big as it gets, yep. Here's the sketch. This is the sketch I did. That doesn't get much bigger, but this is the sketch for it. Yeah, so you get a sense of the sketch that I turned in. And that's nothing. Uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, this is the this is the layout to one of our houses we own. Oh, there you go. So there you have it, gentlemen. Start your engines. Oh, how many of you guys like Thor Ragnarok? Uh, Walter Simonson's Thor Ragnarok. You guys like that stuff? Because if you do, I did a drawing. A, a friend of mine collects. He's a huge Walt Simonson fan. And he collects Ragnarok art by different people. So I did a drawing of uh, Walt's character. Um, I would do this differently if I were to do this again today. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, if I were to do this, the IDW one, yep. So I would do this differently if I did it again today. Um, but this is this is the interpretation I did of him. Once again, a little too big. There we go. Uh, if I did this again today, I would make his uh, his shirt and stuff super baggy the way Walt does it. Uh, yes, 380 is my fave on that run. One, all the happy things with Jack Savinka. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, so I wasn't that familiar with the character. I've got a few issues of it. I still need to get like the hardcover and stuff. So if I were to redo this and I do want to do a new piece, I'd make, I'd give him a baggy shirt, not this really tight thing that I did because he's supposed to, it's supposed to be really baggy. So I F that up. Um, but every artist has their own interpretation and this was the interpretation I did. So you know, if you look at the sketches that uh, the guy has, everybody has them in the baggy shirt, except for me. Oh, the off splash page issue. 380. Oh, a Thor. Thor 380. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And AG, you haven't responded. Are you going to send me a, a picture of the EXO page that you own that Bart did? Let me know, because I'm dying to see which EXO page you own. I don't actually own any original EXO artwork from Bart, which is weird, because I own a lot of stuff from him. But anyhow, so this is mine. Uh, I want to do another piece where he's wearing baggy, the baggy shirt. So, but you know what? Overall, I'm happy with it. I like what I did in the background. Give kind of a, a stormy effect back there, so... So there you go. There's that. So guys, tomorrow, uh, it looks like the consensus is more football stuff. So until tomorrow, guys, it's been an hour and 10 minutes. I got to get going because uh, I got to start drawing some first man pages. See you later. And remember, I'm always bringing this back tonight on the Kings. Join us on Ethan's channel. Bye.